Oh, further and further, deeper and deeper we we go. Am I ever gonna do Mega Man uh, four through six? Yeah, actually, I plan on it. Uh, life's been a little hectic. I'll probably just k keep going through and doing like all classic Mega Man. Actually, it doesn't look like we're going to go over there anymore. So I think we might be moving on to like the final few areas. Hopefully too, because we're at like 73% or something like that. I was looking at the chat, I missed an item. Almost. Oh, I can stand in lava now. Cool. Ugh. <laughs> Missile tank. <laughs> also, yeah, the DMC stuff really does. It is a shame because this is a, this is such a fantastic game. Like, really, you can tell a lot of effort and time went into a lot of the crap in this game. And to be fair, as I said in the first video, even though it was DMC'd and taken down, it was on the internet for at least a day, which means it is eternal. You can always dig hard enough and you'll you'll find it. Yeah, that's that's for sure. This game has for sure treated Metroid better than Nintendo has recently. That is like one of the few things that I'll Look at it, Nintendo and be like, I'm not too happy with you guys. So why do I have to go kill the Metroids when I can just, you know, go through the lava? Alright, I guess this block is in my way. I... Would I go out on a limb and say that? I think I would. That Metroid is actually my favorite Nintendo franchise. Oh dear. One Metroid, huh? Just... Just one Metroid. It's just one Metroid. How bad can one Metroid be? Ah. So, uh... Is 
So, uh, where's the punchline? Nope. That. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with that. Ah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Good, it's good fake out. That is a fantastic fake out. Hello? Jesus Christ. Fusion lied to me. Christ. Oh, this is just extremely hard to hit any part of this thing. Hmm. 
Seem to be having a little bit of a connection issue, but it should be should hold out. Forty missiles, yeah, just about. That seemed right. Uh, I just need to get the timing down to actually hit with a, a super missile. That was the main, the main thing giving me trouble. Give me a moment. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Same amount of missiles. That is a good touch. Hopefully there is a save point nearby. Uh, 12. Twelve Metroids still to kill, and they can be Omegas now. That's horrifying. But yeah. God Omegas. <laughs> but no, like you say, like nothing past a Metroid is vulnerable to the Ice Beam, but that was like the whole big thing at the end of Fusion was y you're, you're losing to the Omega and then it's like, use the Ice Beam, use that, take him out. The thing that like you specifically couldn't use for the entirety of the game. Fusion was weak to the ice beam. I don't remember that plot point. Well, that's what I, that's why I said like fusion lied to me. Oh, well, that, that works. How many we got? Three? Three Omegas. Now I'm going to go head down here and make sure this isn't a safe point. See? You always check. Alright, I'll accept that as a canon answer as to why that works in Fusion. Because it was a clone and they, I guess, manipulated the DNA to make it vulnerable to the Ice Beam. We programmed in a weakness. I look at it as a character flaw. Alright. Hi. You come here often? No? Just... Just the one time for the weekend? Just you and me. How's your day? 
You, you feeling all right? Got him. <laughs> oh shit. I I am stuck. All right, hitting them in the back does more damage. I was kind of guessing that, but that guy definitely went down way faster. Yeah, that's what was happening there. He's not legally allowed to attack me unless I come closer. Uh, you know what? Let's... I killed an Omega. That's that's reason enough to go take a stop at the save point. I went through a lot of my missiles. The one of three down. Super, yeah, super missiles do five times damage, and the back does double damage. All right, rad. Well, obviously, super missiles do five times damage. Hmm. Hmm. This will be progress later. If I had to venture a guess. Yeah, if you can land the super missiles on Kraid, it is extremely broken. Alright, one, two, three, go. Ah, I missed. Piss. Oh, come on. Alright. You can leave and come back to try and get a preemptive strike, but it's like, yeah, it's gaming it a bit, a bit too much. I already feel like I'm, yeah, I think I've messed with the creator's visions enough today, what with the, uh, the speed booster puzzle and everything. There's still nine Metroids. After this other Omega.
Yeah, put an Omega in a sloped room, I will be destroyed. Fuck me. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, piss, 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 piss. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Omegas are actually easier than Zetas. Like... I don't know, Zetas are just so more unpredictable than Omegas. Omegas, like, clearly telegraph all their moves. Maybe it would be, it would probably be worse if I didn't have this save point that I could go back to each time. Oh, right, right, right. The, the progress is up. All right, so eight more. Nine more? Nine more. Nine more. Yeah, that's right. In the original game, all the Metroids flew, which is like a confusing design decision. Oh, we didn't even look at the... Uh, whoops. This is for me. We didn't even look at the log entry for Omegas. There we go. The marker was staying there, which is a bit much. <laughs> yeah, Prime did use that phrase a lot, the, the maximum power is recommended. Ah, see, this is just nice. Nice little cave. Nothing trying to kill us. Alright, this sequence is starting to worry me a bit. Oh, I fuck- I love the logbook from Prime. I love scanning shit. It's such a good system. 
It's gonna happen eventually, right? Oh, I see. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. The Chozo, they were kind of everywhere. The cause of and solution of most of the galaxy's problems. This background kind of owns, I, like legit, like I'm joking, but. Not gonna go down, but you can get that map square. What the hell is this zone? Alright, this is actually getting a little spooky. The baby. The baby. Yeah, I'm remembering this part. Oh god, my... My flubbing of the controls is going to murder me. Yeah, 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 the suits reduce damage, which just makes you think about how much would the Metroids mess you up if you didn't have a suit. Look at that good move. I think, yeah, we'll just finish the game here. Whoa! Oh, this is bad. Whew. So I wonder if they're going to do the thing from the original. I 
I wonder if they're going to give me a save point. Nope. There it is. Okay. Um. This is a little repetitive. Sorry, I'm, I've actually just been zoning out. But yeah, this is a little repetitive. Like, I'm not gonna die because the this is extremely simple.
and Gonna keep going. I'm like just desperately trying to get the super missile so I can end this faster. And just like taking hits because of it. Like, they could have done a bit more with this fight than I think they did. That that's that's my my bottom line. But yeah, they made it a bit more involved and like it, it's kind of cool how the fight progresses a bit but does it progress like look at this and is this fight escalating at all I thought that was maybe the final part. Oh, geez. Yep. That ended exactly like I thought it would. I'm a little disappointed, um, in the original Metroid 2, there's this whole sequence at the end where it's like, oh, we're on, there's only one Metroid left, and you go into the final area, and then, like, the counter starts going crazy. Like, it starts going, like, all over the place. And that's when you fight, like, all the normal Metroids and stuff. That's a really cool sequence. They didn't do that here. They, they put those in the regular count. Ah. The baby. Also, say what you will about other M. I, I really, I actually kind of like the, not the fight itself, but the final sequence with the the Queen Metroid in that, where you get eaten, and you're like, what do I do? What do I do? And then you're like, oh wait, this is when I use power bombs, and then you explode her with a power bomb. It's I, I like that sequence. Ah, uh, the end.
is one of them playable epilogues. We killed X Death. Okay, so you can actually, you can actually do her in with the power bomb. All right. It, it hit me at like after I'd already laid a bunch of bombs. It's a bigger explosion if you use power bombs. Oh. If that fight wasn't like 10 minutes long, I would reload and try it again, but that fight was entirely too long. Map squares. Map squares are important. Ah, uh, that feels good. Uh, a couple missed spots, but whatever. Damn. <laughs> or you can shoot a missile in her mouth. I actually like the missile in the mouth better. Of just like... She's trying to hold you back and just firing missiles down her throat as she kind of owns. That was AM2R. This game was really fantastic outside of the Queen Metroid, which is actually, I think, like, a major detriment to it. Uh, I'd give it, like, an 8.5, maybe, like, somewhere between 8 and 9. Because, like... Honestly, for me, this is a personal thing, fucking up a boss is really bad, and fucking up your final boss is, like, a cardinal sin. The final boss should feel amazing. Like, and that really wasn't. Like it, it was. You could you can make an argument for it. it was faithful to the original for the final boss, um, it, with some more added in. But it was seriously the same sequence four times over. Like it, th that fight never escalated. It was just an extremely long fight. Uh, outside of that, like my only really big complaint I've already expressed this before is they could have made the spider ball faster. Like, yeah, that's, the queen took... Aw. The memory of Iwata. Ninety percent isn't that bad. For not really looking. Yeah, spider ball could have been a little faster. That final boss was a little... Un was extremely underwhelming compared to like every other boss was pretty good o or at least threatening like the 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 creature thing in the spaceship wasn't hard like I did it my first the try last Metroid is in captivity the galaxy is at peace get it uh... <laughs> but yeah that's just my opinion uh, overall though I think this is extremely 
An extremely good game. It's very, very good. And very strong, like... Never once did I think something was unfair. Zetas are a bit much. That's that, that's just me being bad at video games. Maybe if she, yeah, if she did like her laser thing and like you had the space jump in the upper right corner or more fall. Anyway, I don't want to harp on it too much because overall it was a pretty good game. But that is the a end of AM2R. So I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.